Today we're going to be reviewing Think Tank Airport Antidote. I selected this bag for airline travel. So why backpack and not a rolly? Well, the number one reason is is actually right here. You see what I'm doing right now? I have this uh, backpack on my desk, and you know I can I can put it on my couch. I don't have to worry about the filthy wheels that uh, ran through all the bathrooms in all of the airports around the world. Also, if you already have a rolly uh, for your clothing, such as the big check-in rolly, you, you definitely don't want to be traveling with two rollies. So that's another reason. You might be wondering why I have these uh, straps inverted on the bag itself. Well, I just wanted to show you the way I would uh, pack the bag uh, right before uh, putting it in the overhead bin. Uh, I like to tuck away all the straps and uh, away so nothing gets stuck anywhere and it fits easily. Again, just wanted to give you a shot of how low profile this bag is and when the straps are inverted it's very flat and easy to work on a table surface such as right here. So here's the bag open. We got Nikon D3 with uh, 70 to 200 VR 2.8, 14 to 24 2.8, Think Tank card holder. Uh, I have a cable, security cable, which I'll show you what I do with it. Um, just some cords for the for the laptop charger, laptop charger. I got a 13, I'm sorry, a 35 millimeter 2.0, and right underneath it is SB400, I believe, the smaller flash. I have Canon close up uh, filter or lens, it's Canon 500D. I try to um, not bring too many lenses with me because I, I notice that the, the more stuff I have, the less pictures I take. I got a circular polarizer for the 70 to 200 uh, right here and a memory card reader for my laptop. Uh, this pouch right here is empty. It's for my video camera, which I'm using right now. It's a Sony CX-10, I believe. And then uh, right here we have some extra batteries for Sony, camera, and the charger, and card reader for it. And also a Canon charger for my uh, point and shoot, which is right here. It's one of the older Canon ones. Everybody has to have one of those. Um, what's here? Well, there was a rocket blower and straps just tucked in here. Nothing else. So that that's about it. You know, that's what's inside. Uh, the I, I try not to overpack uh, for family vacations because, again, the less I bring with me, the more pictures I take. I know this. Uh, what what I normally do is when I when I get on location I don't haul around this bag with me. Um, I will leave this in the room and use a donkey shoulder bag. So I'll just bring whatever I need uh, with me for the day. All right. So here here we have the bag with the laptop insert in the front uh, compartment. Uh, this is the typical configuration uh, of the bag. The insert is included with the bag. This is a 2008 version. The newer airport antidote has a flap that goes over here. And uh, probably it's a little bit better designed because you, you don't have the zipper here that's sort of supposed to secure this. But really, this is very secure by itself. As it is, you don't need to use the zipper. And every time I try to use it, it gets, um, it pinches this 
uh, gusset right here and I just I, I hate this thing I, I hate this particular zipper so when when I have my laptop inserted here I don't use this particular zipper it's absolutely unnecessary and the newer version the 2009 or, or the late 2008 model that comes with the flap uh, doesn't have this I believe so anyways uh, this is what um, what it will look like when it's on your back uh, when you go through the security checkpoint when you get there you just uh, pull this out and take the laptop out of uh, this this pouch and lay it on the security tray and you don't even have to open the main bag which is really cool once you get to the airplane you again pull this pouch out and take it to your seat and then the bag becomes a lot slimmer and you can stuff it in the overhead bin or if you're in one of the larger planes you can just put the whole thing in there uh, it, it will fit but if you want to work on your laptop while while in flight you know this is a very easy way to do that you just pull this out and, and you got it with you as I mentioned once on location uh, this bag becomes a storage for me at the hotel room I, I don't typically hold this around with me everywhere I go because it's it's a bit bulky you know for urban environment and the straps are not ideal for hiking uh, there is no load stabilizing strap um, here and the belt uh, the hip hip belt is not very comfortable uh, you can you can definitely use it but not for the type of hiking that I'm typically involved with where you know you have to hike at least uh, six seven miles a day um, what I normally do is if I'm hiking I'm using think tank module, modular uh, pouches on their pro belt or if it's an urban environment I'll, I'll bring a donkey bag and work out of that and this particular uh, bag just stays in, in, in the room uh, one of the nice feature and, and the reason I like it for that purpose is that it has these uh, very strong zippers and they can be locked right here it's a YKK pool and it can be locked and I always have a small lock with me and this uh, steel cable uh, and what I do is I, I run the steel cable through this handle through the lock itself which goes here and through the laptop handle and I attach it to something solid in the room and that gives me another sense of security that when I return to my room the bag is going to be there so that's another cool feature about this bag <laughs> 